Charles I and his wife Sita of Bourbon Parma were the last emperor and empress of Austria and king and queen of Hungary. Charles ascended to the throne in 1916 in the midst of the First World War after the death of his granduncle Franz Joseph. A chain of events made Charles directly in line to the throne. Franz Joseph's only son and heir Rudolf committed suicide in 1889. Franz Joseph's next younger brother Maximilian was already dead at that point. His third brother Karl Ludwig died in 1896, leaving his son Franz Ferdinand directly in line to the throne. As Franz Ferdinand married, as it was declared morganatically, his children were not eligible to inherit the throne. It therefore became clear that Franz Ferdinand's younger brother, Archduke Otto, most likely would succeed his brother. But Otto died in 1906, aged only 41, leaving his elder son Charles as his heir. Franz Ferdinand and his wife Sophie were famously assassinated in Sarajevo in 1914, triggering the outbreak of the First World War. This made Charles the direct heir of Franz Joseph, who was 83 years old at the time the war broke out. Now Charles succeeded his granduncle in 1916. He found his country in a politically extremely difficult situation and his people were tired of two years of warfare. In addition, he was confronted with the tension between the ethnic groups of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Charles soon secretly entered peace negotiations with France. However, nothing came of these plans. On November 11, 1918, the Armistice of Compiègne formally ended the fighting on land, sea and air. That same day, Charles saw himself pressured to issue a proclamation. He carefully worded the document, ensuring that he never used the word abdication. He enabled his people to independently decide the form of state. Only a day later, the Republic of German Austria was proclaimed. On November 16th, the First Hungarian Republic was formed. What followed were months of uncertainty. Charles, Sida, and their children left Austria in March 1919. On April 3rd, the Austrian parliament officially dethroned and banished the Habsburgs. Charles was forbidden from ever entering Austria again, while other male members of the Habsburg family had to renounce their claim to the throne. Weeks turned into months, and months turned into years. The family spent their time in exile, firstly in Switzerland, and after a failed attempt to regain the Hungarian throne in Madeira. The Portuguese island is where the story takes a tragic turn. After only five months of living on Madeira, Charles died of respiratory failure. He left his eight months pregnant wife a widow with seven children. Two months after the death of her husband, Sita gave birth to her eighth and last child. Sita was 29 and had to take care of her big family alone. The family soon moved to Spain and later to Belgium. The Second World War then forced the family to move to the States and then to Canada. With her children growing older and moving back to Europe, Sita as well decided to return back. She settled in Luxembourg before moving to Switzerland permanently. There she spent her time involving herself in the beautification process of her husband. She celebrated her 90th birthday surrounded by her children. From then on, her health slowly began to decline. She died in the early morning hours of March 14, 1989, at the age of 96, 67 years after her husband. She was surrounded by all of her surviving children. The destined heir to the throne was born on November 20, 1912 and was baptized Franz, Joseph, Otto, Robert, Maria, Anton, Karl, Max, Heinrich, Sixtus, Xaver, Felix, Renatus, Ludwig, Gaetan, Pius, Ignatius, which is probably the longest name anyone I ever covered on my channel had. Upon his father's ascension to the throne, Otto, as he was called, became crown prince of Austria, Hungary, Bohemia, and Croatia. After he and his family were banned from Austria, he spent his early childhood years in exile. Upon the death of his father in 1922, his mother said to the then nine-year-old Otto, Your father is now sleeping the eternal sleep. You are now emperor and king. In 1935, Otto graduated with a PhD in political and social sciences from the university in Louvain. 
He was a popular figure in Austria and many people would have supported Otto in regaining the throne of his family. Otto was 26 when the Second World War broke out, but his young age did not stop him from speaking out on Nazism. I absolutely reject fascism for Austria. This un-Austrian movement promises everything to everyone, but really it intends the most ruthless subjugation of the Austrian people. The people of Austria will never tolerate that our beautiful fatherland should become an exploited colony and that the Austrian should become a man of second category. Following his opposition to the regime, Otto was sentenced to death. Leading member of the Nazi party and German politician Rudolf Hess ordered Otto's immediate execution if caught. The former crown prince of Austria helped around 15,000 Austrians, mostly Jews, to flee the country. Otto soon saw himself confronted with the threat of the rising Nazi Germany and had to flee to the US. He had close contact with US President Franklin Roosevelt. He managed to convince him to halt or limit US bombardments of Austrian cities, especially on Vienna. After the war Otto returned to Europe. He was a strong supporter of an independent democratic Austria. After years of fighting with the Austrian government, Otto was finally issued an Austrian passport. He returned to his homeland on October 31, 1966, for the first time in 48 years. Otto had a long political career and was an early supporter of a unified Europe. He supported the integration of Hungary, Croatia and Slovenia, all former territories of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, to the European Union. For 20 years, he was a member of the European Parliament for the CSU party. In 1989, he played a leading role in organizing the Pan-European Picnic, an important event leading to the collapse of communist dictatorships in Europe. Back in 1959, Otto married Princess Regina of Saxe-Meiningen. Together, the couple had seven children. The family lived in Pöckingen most of the time. Dear Regina died in 2010. Otto passed away a year later on July 4, 2011. If Otto would have reigned as emperor, his reign would have been 89 years, surpassing European record holders like Louis XIV and Elizabeth II by many years. Adelheid, or Adelaide in English, was the second child and first daughter of the last imperial family of Austria. She was born on January 3, 1914, at Castle Hetzendorf. She was baptized four days later in the presence of godmother and father. During the First World War, Adelaide and her brother Otto would accompany their father on trips to inspect the Austrian troops. After years of exile, she was the first member of the Habsburg family to set foot in Vienna. She also attended the University of Louvain, where she gained her doctorate. She also moved to the U.S. when the Second World War broke out, but returned after the warfare. Adelaide died on October 2, 1971, aged 57, and 17 years before her mother. Robert was born on February 8, 1915, at Schönbrunn Palace. At the age of two, Robert was created Archduke of Austria-Est by his father. In 1953, he married Princess Margarita of Savoy, Austin, France. The couple had five children. Robert died one day before his 81st birthday in 1996. He is buried in Maurice, Switzerland. His wife passed away just last year. Archduke Felix of Austria was born on May 31, 1916 at Schönbrunn Palace. His christening eight days later was attended by the elderly Emperor Franz Joseph, who would die that same year. After long years of exile, Felix was allowed to return back to Austria where he enrolled in the Theresian Military Academy. He became an officer in the Austrian army and was the first Habsburg since the downfall of the empire to hold a position in the army. Following the Anschluss, in which Germany became part of Nazi Germany, Felix saw himself forced to flee to Czechoslovakia. He later also immigrated to the US, but returned after the Second World War. In France, he married Princess and Duchess Anna Eugenie of Arenberg in 1952. Together, they had seven children. 
After the Second World War, Felix was again banned from returning to Austria, as he, unlike his elder brother Otto, refused to renounce his claims to the imperial throne. He famously stated that doing so would violate his human rights. Upon the death of his mother in 1989, he was allowed to enter for three days in order to attend her funeral. Seven years later, Austria joined the European Union, which ended stuffed border checkpoints. Felix then illegally entered Austria. He was then warned by the government from ever entering Austria illegally again. Eventually, Felix and one of his brothers made a deal with the government, swearing their support to the Republic without renouncing their birthrights. Felix lived in many European countries before eventually moving to Mexico. There he died on September 6, 2011. He was the last surviving child of Charles I and Sita. Archduke Karl Ludwig was born on March 10, 1918 and was the last of Charles's and Sita's children to be born while the Austro-Hungarian Empire existed and the first and only child of them to be born while Charles was emperor. He began studying at the University of Louvain and ended his studies at the University Laval. In 1950 he married Princess Yolande of Lien, with whom he had four children. Karl died on December 11, 2007, at the age of 89. His widow, Princess Yolande, is still alive today and just celebrated her 100th birthday. Archduke Rudolf was born on September 5, 1919, in Switzerland, after his family was forced to leave Austria. He is therefore the first of their children to be born after the downfall of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. He was named after Rudolf IV, Duke of Austria, a scion of the House of Habsburg. Rudolf also studied at the University Laval. Later, he worked as a Wall Street junior executive and a bank director. In New York in 1953, he married Countess Xenia. They had four children together. In 1968, Rudolf and Xenia were involved in a tragic car crash, which Xenia didn't survive. Three years later, Rudolf married Princess Anna Gabriele of Byrd. The couple had one more daughter. Rudolf died on May 15, 2010, at the age of 90. Archduchess Charlotte of Austria was born on March 1, 1921, also in Switzerland. After she and her family had been forced to flee Europe during the Second World War, Charlotte began her studies at the University of Laval, from which she gained her economics degree. Under the name Charlotte de Bar, the young Archduchess began working as a welfare worker in the area of East Harlem in New York. She quit her job in 1956 when she married George, the Duke of mecklenburg strelitz George died after seven years of marriage. They never had any children. Charlotte died on July 23, 1989, at the age of 68, four months after the death of her mother. Archduchess Elizabeth of Austria was born on May 31, 1922, which means she has the same birthday as her brother Felix. Elizabeth was also the posthumous child of Emperor Charles I, as he died two months shy of her birth. Feeling that the baby would be a girl, her father had picked her name shortly before his death. Elizabeth began to study in Belgium when her family moved there. But when the Second World War broke out and German troops began invading Belgium, the family once again had to leave. Eventually, they ended up in French-speaking Quebec, where she also attended University of Laval. After the war in 1949, Elizabeth married Prince Henry of Liechtenstein, a cousin of the then reigning Prince of Liechtenstein. Together, they had five children. She died on January 6, 1993, at the age of 70 in Germany.